In Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, he has written a chapter called Rice Patties and Math Tests. In it, he claims that Asian culture has advantages in math and logic because they have a tradition of rice patty cultivation. Is Malcolm Gladwell just prejudging Asians based on mono-minority ethnic stereotypes? Are Gladwell's claims about Asian cultural advantages in math valid and substantive here at U of HD? Do students of Asian ethnic backgrounds at U of HD as a group perform better at Algebra 1301 than other students? My method for investigating the validity of Gladwell's claims about Asian cultures will be to conduct a simple survey of students. I will interview 20 Asian students and 20 non-Asian students that have completed Algebra 1301. I've chosen Algebra 1301 because all students must take it, regardless of major. I will ask the students three questions. First, what grade did you get or expect to get in Algebra 1301? Second, what do you attribute to your success or failure? And third, do you plan on taking higher math classes in the future? I will then compile and interpret the data. I will calculate the average Asian and non-Asian Algebra 1301 grade and compare them. I will try to notice any recurring answers or trends when students state what they attribute to their success or failure. I will calculate the percentage of Asian and non-Asian students that plan on taking higher math and compare the statistics. This should give us a good idea if any of Gladwell's claims about Asians are valid and apply to Asian students here at the U of HD. Gladwell claims Chinese and other Asian languages have a logical number language. The number language is not irregular as it is in English, but rather a logical system of tens and ones, so there is a cultural expectation to easily grasp the concept of higher numbers at an earlier age. 11 is 10-1, 12 is 10-2, 24 is 2 tens 4, and so on. According to Gladwell, as human beings we store digits in a memory loop that runs for about two seconds. We most easily memorize whatever we can say or read in that two second span. Numerals in the Asian languages are quick syllables and can be uttered in less than a quarter of a second. So then, Asians can fit more numbers into the two second memory loop span. However, the key advantage that Asians have is that they just simply tend to work harder as a group than others. Working in a rice field is 10 to 20 times more labor intensive than working on an equivalent size corn or wheat field. This hard work of the rice farmer gives Asians from these cultures the advantage of working harder, longer, and taking the time to complete a task as their cultural norm. One must be good at long systematic and repetitive tasks to succeed in math as well as rice patties. As a result of my campus survey, I have found evidence that does support Gladwell's claim about Asian culture and math to a reasonable extent. The average grade of Asian students in my study was 3.75 on a four-point scale compared to 2.95 for non-Asian students. On a percentage scale, the Asian grade is an A at 97.3% compared to a B at 88.8% for non-Asian students. Nearly 80% of Asians interviewed planned on taking higher math. Only 55% of the non-Asian students planned on taking higher math with their degree plans. When I asked the Asian students what factors did they attribute to their success, I noticed a common reoccurring trend in the answers. Of course, many said that they have to pay attention and have a good professor. The most common answer was that one has to do all the work homework and take the time to do a lot of out of class work. These students are better in math because they tend to be diligent, hard working and take the time to complete a math task more so than their non-Asian counterparts. Now I'm not saying that there aren't any lasians, lazy Asians out there, but as a group they tend to work harder. A history of rice cultivation serves them well and does cross over to success in mathematics to an extent that their descendants at U of HD tend to be better at math and work harder as a result of cultural heritage whether they themselves realize it or not. In sum, Gladwell's claims are correct and the reason Asians are better in math is because they tend to take the time to do the work and work harder.